Welcome. Uh, this is the first video in a series of video and these lectures are about the power plant engineering. I will be covering a series of 10 to 12 lectures about power plant engineering that is a uh, different types of power plant. As I said, uh, this is the first video in the series of uh, videos. I have already covered a video about uh, thermal power plant. So I will not be covering about uh, thermal power plant. But this is a continuation in that series and this, this series of videos are about the power plant engineering and the power system engineering. So I will be combining uh, both the power plant engineering and the power system engineering in uh, one series of playlist. If you can go through the playlist, you will find all the videos about the power plant engineering and power system engineering. So power plant engineering is a course which comes as part of the electrical engineering also it comes as part of the mechanical engineering so uh, so starting uh, with the power generation process uh, so the power plant is a, is also known as a generating station is the starting point for any of the power system so in the generating station or the power plants the power is generated and using the transmission lines and the transmission network it is being transferred to the load centers or the distribution centers which are the places like small cities or larger cities etc where the power will be consumed so to generate the power you need the power plant so the power plants will be the place where the power or the electricity to be specific will be generated and the power plants can be classified according to like to run the power plant you will need some it's an essentially law of conservation of energy what you are doing here is transferring one form of energy to the other form of energy so before the before coming to the power plant you'll need to know about the different sources of energy and each of the power plant will need some kind of energy to run so the power plant can again be classified based on the conventional sources of energy it is which is based on the sources of energy which will eventually get exhausted or which is not infinite as as you can say that these kind of energy as you will use them for a period of 100 200 or more years eventually it will come to a state where it is not able to renew it or it is not self renewing kind of energy so it will once get depleted so such kind of uh, power plants, such kind of fuels uh, or energy fuels which run such kind of power plants are mainly coal or petroleum based power plants, nuclear based power plants. Nuclear energy is abandoned but it could get exhausted over a period of some years. Again, it's a debate to whether uh, put the nu nuclear power plant as a conventional or as a non-conventional kind of a power plant. Uh, but it's mostly classified as a conventional uh, power plant which will eventually get exhausted and it's a known it's based on non-renewable source of energy others are based on the petroleum products like diesel and the hydrocarbon which like diesel and petroleum which can again cause a combustion like uh, the gas based energy and even the hydro power plant is can be classified as a conventional source of energy and some even classify it as a non-conventional sources of energy but again the water resource or the river uh, to it's not possible always to maintain a continuous supply so you, you it's a debate whether you will have to classify it as a conventional source or a non-conventional source of energy sometimes it is even classified as a non-conventional source of energy so the, coming to the classification of different kinds of power plants it will start with the uh, steam based power plants uh, based on the fuels like uh, coal or petroleum based products or nuclear based products all these kinds of uh, power plants will lead to or fuels will lead to some kind of power plant on a steam based power plant so it can be a steam based power plant which is which uh, which produces uh, hot gases or steam which will uh, which is water in the evaporate or vapor form at a high temperature and pressure uh, which is known as steam so the steam based power plant can be based on the steam turbine based or it can be based on the steam engine again they can be diesel power plant they can be gas turbine power plant they can be hydroelectric power plant nuclear power plant these are some of some kinds of conventional power plants to be very specific again going through the non-conventional power plants these are based or these are derived from the sources of energy which will 
not be getting exhausted for thousands and thousands of years to come so these kinds of uh, energy we are assuming that it will be available on the surface of the earth as long as uh, the life for the earth itself exists so such kind of power plants uh, mainly uh, the energy will not get uh, exhausted and it will be available for a longer period of time these kinds of energy examples are wind solar or uh, the energy obtained from the tidal waves or geothermal uh, energy obtained from the heat coming from the surface of the earth or core of the earth so such kinds of power plants can again be classified as uh, wind power plant solar power plant and there will be geothermal or tidal or thermoelectric uh, kind of power plants are also possible again solar power plant is and wind power plant are the most used or most widely used uh, non-conventional uh, kind of power plants and if you can come to the conventional kind of power plants uh, then you can say that the solar power plant and the hydro uh, you can say that the steam based or the thermal power plant and the hydro power plant are one of the most uh, used kind of power plants so again uh, there is nothing much to add in the first lecture so this was about the different kinds of power plants uh, and now in the second lecture we will see the power scenario in india and later what i will cover be while be covering about is the different kinds of uh, steam turbines already have covered a lecture of the steam power plant and then i will cover about the economics of power generation which is about the load load factor the how the tariff of the power is derived etc and then there is a classification i'll go into detail about the different power plants like uh, a hydro power plant uh, gas based power plant diesel based power plant uh, solar and wind power plants etc so this is how this full course will be structured and you can find if you are coming to this video you can find uh, the full detail about uh, the playlist and the different videos in the description given. That's all. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment.